Your reviewer, good evening, and welcome to Current Issue. With me tonight, the Oakland County Treasurer, Robert Wittenberg. I hope I pronounced it right. You got it. It's perfect. Wittenberg. Good. Robert, welcome to MEA. Thank you so much. It's Thank really you. a pleasure to be here and to be in person in studio chatting with you, Wally. It's, it's our pleasure. Let me, you just took over and demiser, which is known to the community too. But on daily basis, what the treasurer do? So uh, that is a question we get all the time because yeah. uh, people don't really know. Exactly. What treasurer? Uh, the, the, the easiest uh, explanation is we are the banker for the county, for county government, right? So we okay. are in charge of collecting all the money as it comes in and dispersing money that goes out, um, you know, paying vendors, collecting money, collecting taxes, payroll for the county, uh, but we also invest our surplus funds. So the funds that we don't need right away, okay. uh, we are actually in charge of investing those funds as well as we uh, run what's called a local government investment pool. So local communities and other agencies in Oakland County uh, are able to give us their surplus funds and we invest it for them. That's great. Because uh, we can get usually a little better rate because of how big our, our sure, pool of is. Course, yeah. um, and so we, it, it's, it's their money, right? But we just invest it for them. But we are very conservative when it comes to our investment because we actually have to follow state law. There's PA 20 that we have to uh, abide by. So safety is our number one, right? Ensuring the, the safety of taxpayer dollars. Sure. Liquidity, we have to be able to, to pay our bills. Yes. Uh, and then yield is kind of that third leg of the tripod. Uh, so that's kind of the order. But so we're, we're collecting taxes. I think most people know us uh, for when we're collecting delinquent taxes. And that's obviously the, the main thing that we want to talk about yeah, today. We want to come to that. Yeah. But in simple, you collect the money from the citizen of Oakland County and you pay the people who give the service to Oakland County, like the treasurer, the road, you know, things like this, sure, right? Sure. And, and simple, this is it. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, but we don't set the budget in our office, right? So that goes through the, the legislative process, right? We have our board of commissioners okay. that works along with our county executive. They work on a budget. Yes. But obviously, we're the, the, we, we control the purse strings. Okay. Usually, they send me the tax from the city, and I pay it. There is winter and, and summer tax. Correct. Why now the, the tax is collecting by the treasurer? So you are doing the right thing. We <laughs> encourage everyone to pay their taxes on time. And that's yes. how it works, right? Your current year taxes go to your local community. Exactly. It's once they become delinquent that we become, in essence, the collections agency, right? So, so after one year, how many years? So at the end of, you know, if you owe your 2021 taxes, okay. right, those become due. They just became due uh, or delinquent, I should say, at the end of February. So at the end of February, we go through what's called settlement. We're in the middle of settlement right now. We settle. There's 63 cities, villages, and townships in Oakland County. Yes. We go through settlement with so them. So they they, they people they, they don't pay the city. People that don't pay the city. Uh, the city the works with us to yes. look at that number, uh -huh. and then we cash flow them. Right. So we have what's called our delinquent tax revolving fund, our DTRS. We use the money there because, because they need we the want money they need to the money. To we to want to make sure the they're whole, right? Exactly. Because these are yes. some of these local communities are small. They can't afford exactly. to have you know a huge uh, you know blows a hole in their budget. Absolutely. And so we cash flow them the money, and then we in essence become the collections agent on those delinquent taxes. So you have never owed to us. If you always paid Wally, yes. you paid on time, you've never owed it to us. You know, and, and before the, the due date. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and, and this is all statute, right? Yes. So this is all state statute yes. that, that we become how, that collections how, agent. How much you have to be in uh, delinquent? It's one year, two years? So it's after that first year, first right? Year. So, so in essence, Goes to you. and you can be delinquent multiple years too. So like what we're talking about today, yes. people that are delinquent on their 2019 and prior year taxes, okay. so 2019, 2018, 2017, however far it goes back, if they are delinquent on those taxes, those taxes need to be paid off by the end of this month, March 31st. March 31st is uh, the deadline. Is the deadline. They have uh, to pay it off or they have to reach out to us and they can talk with us about getting a, repay, a repayment schedule. Yes, and to we're going to talk pay it about this. And yeah. We can, yeah, so we yes. can, we, we want to get them set up on a repayment schedule because we don't know people need help unless they tell us they need help. Absolutely. And so that's why we're encouraging and people. And that's why we're here to talk yes, to them. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, okay. If they come, if somebody didn't get the money, but they get, they get the money the first week of April, 
Would you deal with them? No, we can't. It, it's state statute that it's due by March 31st. March 31st. They need to call us, though, right? If they think that they're going to have their money, okay. right, they have to put a good, we have to set them up on a repayment schedule, and they need to make a good good faith payment, right? So they have to do something beforehand, okay. and we can talk through with them. There's, there's in, in essence, like a, a down payment, if you will. So but if you, but, but we, we won't know that unless they reach out to us. Absolutely. So that's the most important but thing. But if is. you reach to you with at least probably 10 or 15% of the amount, you will work with them. Absolutely. So April, you know, is not the deadline, 31st. Well, if it's not the, not the deadline to pay it all off. To pay again, it all off, okay. Again, they have to reach out to us. We have to get them into a repayment schedule. So that's okay. the most important thing is we need to know, right? But we need uh, a conversation. We need a dialogue. We need to set a repayment schedule. Yes. And then we need that good faith payment ahead of time. And then, you know, repayment schedule, we can plan it out over a year if they need to, right? If they need to pay that off, yes. we can plan it out. Our, 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 my only hesitation with that is we always encourage people to pay off uh, as soon as possible because there are statutory fees and interest that are added. That added so the longer you wait to pay, the yes. more it's going to cost you in the long run. I so we're you know, we worried about the financial well-being of all of our residents. And so okay. and the, the other, just real quick, yeah, while we're, the yeah. other reason why uh, we're encouraging people to reach out to us yes. because there also might be some other grants available to them. There might be some programs. One specific program, if you don't mind, I'll just sure. mention. I'm going to uh, come to all the programs. You okay. Know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If he or a few thousand and he doesn't have. Do you have like financial institute? Do you have like non-profit organization that they could help them uh, put in, in payments and all that? What do you do? So Give me some of, of those a plan because it's important to them. Sure. If they find out from you, there is those kind of financial institute, non-profit organization, they're going to be encouraged to come to you. And they have to know and be aware that they're out there, right? That's the most important exactly. thing. Some people do, aren't aware, and so yeah. that's why we are happy to educate people. And we have within our office our financial empowerment center. And so we have uh, Rita Nafso who works in there and is, in essence, like a financial coach. And I and know so her. She, Yep, you know Rita. <laughs> yeah. Rita's the best, right? Yeah. She's been yeah. around for Absolutely. some time. Yeah. Uh, she, she was here, obviously, before I became yeah. uh, the treasurer. And so she's a, like a financial coach, and she can help people budgeting. She can help them uh, find out what, what grants are available to them, nonprofits that can help them. Okay. And the, you know, the one that I'm talking about sp specifically, the, the one that I think uh, – could really benefit people is what's called my half it's the michigan homeowners assistance fund so yes. that's from the state from the state okay and it's through federal dollars federal right dollars through, yeah, so COVID dollars state, yeah. and if you show I, that you i, I have, believe that's in millions oh it's yeah 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 but yeah. it's up to twenty five thousand dollars per household okay. and it can pay your, your if you have delinquent on your mortgage your taxes your the utility heat, bills the, yeah. all that yeah. stuff and well. so it's up to twenty five thousand dollars per household it is based on you know your income, based on area median income. Yes. Uh, it's also you have to show that you had some kind of COVID hardship. So that could be loss of, of, of your job, of loss of income, income you know, yeah. uh, increased expenses, yes. child care, loss of a family member. Yes. There are so you know, many things. There's so you know, many things. Yeah. People, you know, unfortunately, I mean, so many people. Especially women, they affect tremendously by the COVID because they, the kids in the school, they're not in the school, and she have to sit home with the kids. Yeah, so a lot of times yeah. you see that, uh, you know, the brunt goes on to some of the women in society, and especially uh, they're the ones, because child care, I'm, I'm going through that myself. I understand yeah. how that works with child care. Yeah. So um, we're trying to balance our, you know, work-life uh, situation and make sure that we are able to work full time as I do and my wife does. Yes. Um, but make sure we are able to care for, we have two little kids at home, so. God bless them. Yeah. Sure. So tell me, how... How could somebody like me, who are behind the taxes, could reach you? So we do. I have to come to your office. Is there a website there? Is there a phone number that I call? So all of the above. Uh, okay. The number one thing we would tell people: to call us uh, eight five eight zero six one one two four eight eight five eight zero six one one. And we're gonna put that on the screen yep. too. Yep, you can put website. that up there. And I'm 99% sure that's the right number. I'm a, okay. The new guy, if I'm we'll saying sure. it wrong, they'll, we'll put the, sure. they'll put the proper one on the screen. <laughs> sure. um, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of, we have a main line, right? So you'd call that main line, and, and then, you know, the, the, the people in our office, our team members that answer, can all answer your questions. They are very helpful. You can also go on our website, oakgov.com slash treasurer. Okay. So oakgov.com slash treasurer. Which is Oakland. Uh, yep, yep, for Oak, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oakgov.com slash treasurer, and you yes. can go there. Uh, or at the 1200 building. We are there. Now we're encouraging people to make appointments because if you do, you don't have to wait. Uh, you know, we'll have your file Next ready list. for you. You yes. come in, and we yeah. are ready to, to chat with you about your unique situation. I see. So there is almost every program you have, and, and people, I think, 
they're going to qualify for one of them. And, and so the, the main thing is to reach you. The well, that's main thing is to come and, and yeah. ask for help. Yep. You know. and, that's, and that's why we're doing this, right? We're making a, a full court press, uh, doing advertising on various networks, including your network, because you have such a high viewership, and we're trying to get to all the people uh, that you impact. Uh, we are speaking, I'm going personally to city council meetings throughout Oakland County. Right. We're doing uh, social media push. Uh -huh. We are doing quite a few different things to really get out there uh, to notify people that we are here to help. I think the, the number one takeaway that we are trying to get across people is that we are here to help. We are, you, do, you shouldn't be scared to reach out to us. Again, the thing I said before is we can only help you if we know you need help. Absolutely. So reach out to us, uh, either calling us, going online, or uh, coming by our office, scheduling an appointment. Okay. Go into the Middle Eastern community, and I think there's a good percentage living in Oakland County. Yes. Uh, do you have people who speak the language if they come, if they don't, you know, some of them they speak the English but a little bit of broken English and they don't feel confidence to explain their self to you. Sure. But if there is somebody understand and, and speak the Arabic, it will be much easier. Yes. Do you do that? Yes. So uh, yes and no. I mean, it depends which community, specifically from the Middle Eastern community. Yes. I'm talking about the Middle Eastern community now. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's Which a good the question. Arabic, right, 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 yeah. right. That's a good yeah. question. Re do you know if Rita speaks? I don't know offhand uh, no, if no, she does. That's fluid. No. So I don't yeah. want to say yeah. someone, yeah, but sure. we're willing to work with everyone, right? They yeah. reach out to us. If we need to uh, have written communication so they can have it translated, we are okay. welcome to do that. Like, we want to make sure everyone is taken care of. Okay. Um, if we need to, to you know, bring someone in to translate, we are willing to do that. We do not want someone to lose their home. We don't want someone to Absolutely. lose their business. Sure. We will you know, bend over backwards if we have to to make sure that people are taken care of, to make sure that they know uh, what resources are available to them and help them get on a repayment schedule. Okay. The note you send them, which is, you know, this is your final March 31st. Yes. If you don't come, we cannot help you after that. Can you put it in Arabic, the same flyer, to be translated, you know, a line in Arabic? Yeah. You do with your, with we, well, we haven't yet, yeah. uh, but with your help, we could. We sure, get absolutely. you, or we would be you happy know, to do that. We, I we think try that's, to help the community yeah. as much. Yeah, you no, know. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And, and honestly, uh, uh, the Middle Eastern community, they're family oriented. Absolutely. And you see five, six people living in a house. Losing this house, that means the whole family, you know, have nowhere to go. It's not like some other. Uh, people, they live by themselves in, in a house. If, yeah. if you take the house, you'll go live in a hotel. Yeah. You know, that's a different. That's so, um, the house is so important to them. You know, honestly, better than uh, food and all that, because yeah. that keeps them under one roof and, and, and together. And so that's why yes. we want people to understand, right, that this is a three-year process, right? That's how it's built intentionally, right? You, you have a year to pay your local community. Okay. If you don't pay, you have two years to pay us. Okay. Uh, and again, so right now we're talking about people who are delinquent with their 2019 and prior year taxes. So if someone missed their payments. So probably 18. So 2019, 2018, 19, if you're late on those. Oh, yes. But again, we want to work with you. We want to help right. people out. So that's, like I said, that is the, the most important message that I can convey to, to everyone watching at home and on, online uh, is that reach out to us. Yeah. And then, you know what? It's so important, especially these days, you go to your meal, the mail, and, and 70, 80 percent is junk mail. Yeah. And throw it to the garbage. And a lot of people, if they, if you don't get attention or something in Arabic or other, they might throw it in the garbage too. So it's it's a great you doing. You you reach into them through us, through other uh, social media and uh, other outlet. And that's to, to reach to them. Yeah. And know? that's part of like I said that full court press. Yes. We also again, if they are at, at risk of foreclosure, we actually did personal service. So we had someone who went out and directly place something uh, oh, to the house to the house oh, that's a great yes. that's so a great, we do yeah. that as well so I we see. are like I said we are that we can are, get their attention honestly absolutely. if you put something in the door that's mean something very important absolutely so yeah. that's what we do um, and we like I said we are doing everything we can to notify people we do not want to foreclose on anyone that absolutely. is not our goal at all we want people to stay in their homes we want businesses to continue to operate we want our communities to continue to thrive and they thrive only because of the residents and the businesses in the county, and yeah. so we're doing everything we can to yeah. work with them. As that goes for the business and 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 the commercial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same, same. And commercial. Same, same. same. Twenty nineteen, if they owe their twenty nineteen and prior year taxes. Yeah, I have a question for you. Yeah, I rent a house, okay, and I'm paying the the landlord, but the landlord is not paying the taxes. What are we gonna do? 
That's in a, this case. It's a tough situation, right? But there's so, a, a lot of them living in condo or living in yeah. an apartment, but yeah. the landlord is not paying the taxes. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's not their fault. We don't hear it as often. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's when we really would like to have a conversation with them to see what we can do to help. Um, unfortunately, you know, there are some bad actors in society, right? And I feel yes. like that would be an example of a really bad actor who yeah. is who is jeopardizing the well-being of, of someone, right, that that is is a uh, inhabitant of their That's property, life, right? Yeah. So we would love to hear from people, but, un, you know, unfortunately sometimes they don't hear about it. Yeah. Um, so are you going to go and put the, the, the sticker in, but that's, uh, in the door? That's exactly that's right. Good, so that's why that it goes on there attention. is to get their yeah. attention. And yeah. if they called you and they said, you know, uh, we don't have the taxes in the landlord. We pay the landlord and he pay. So you could work with them. So that, in that situation, we would talk through the, you know, because so technically anyone can pay anyone's taxes, right? So okay. a tax bill just needs to be paid. It doesn't have to be paid by the actual owner. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are options out there, but we need to kind of talk it through because every situation is unique. And that's why I think it's important for them to call us. And, and in a situation like that, you know, Rita in our office through that financial empowerment center, I think it's important for her to kind of talk through your options because we also have uh, some organizations that we would refer people to. There's uh, Lakeshore Legal Aid. So anyone that is for low income or seniors, it yes. is free legal help. Uh, they handle everything but criminal cases mm -hmm. but any kind of legal help I would encourage people to reach out because that you know but if that's, they, that's they call you you could give them the number and they yes, could yeah, yeah yeah for sure yeah, sure after 30 after March 31st what's gonna happen if he doesn't pay if they don't pay and yeah. they didn't re if so I mean, everything you know so they don't pay I mean you know this is usually what, what we're gonna see is uh, and you said vacant, Apple, if they're they vacant proper the, yeah. you know the, the I think the clearest example is like a vacant parcel right it's just sitting there maybe someone bought it it was a speculator someone that thought it might you know uh, um, go up in value over time, yes. and then we never hear from them again. The March 31st, that's the deadline, right? If they don't pay by that, what happens is based on state law, we have to follow state law. Of course, yeah. We yeah. F foreclose on their house, okay. and, or I'm sorry, on the property, because if it's just a vacant property, we foreclose on- What if it's on house, building, uh, commercial, whatever it is, yes. you know. We foreclose mm -hmm. that March 31st deadline, okay. yes. uh, and then we, it goes to an auction. Then it goes to sell, uh, when it goes to the auction? August. On August, first week of August? Uh, probably late August. We haven't scheduled it yet this year because we're actually uh, migrating over. It used to be an in-person auction. Now it's going to be an online auction. I see. And so we're trying to get the date uh, locked down, but it'll be probably mid-August. Okay. If I lost my house and went to the auction, can I go and buy it from the auction? No. Uh, you, it can't be the same person that buys be. their house. Because then might somebody think, you know what, let them take it. And then when they put an auction, I'll go buy it. No, you can't, you can't yeah. do that. Yes. So uh, again, our goal is to not to get to of that course, point, yeah. right? We, <laughs> Believe that, me, if they, I, if they, if they could have- When we were talking, your, your mission is to keep the people, the family, and the house. Without question. So if they could come up with the money then, we would encourage them to come up with the money a few months earlier if they have to take out a loan, yes. if they have to you know, talk to family members, but again, reach out to us and we're not asking for the entire payment yeah. if you are able to get into a repayment schedule and are yes. able to put down a, a down payment. Absolutely, so as long as he come to you, you know, he have time. He have time to figure it out, either go to the state and get the assistance from them or not a profit organization, right. or you put them in a payment plan yeah. and extend that. How, how, how long you could extend the, the payment plan? Well, so there's no set. Again, it's a unique case by case, right? I mean, if somebody, he cannot pay $200 a month. He pay $50 a month. Will it work with them? It depends. Again, it depends on the situation, right? If someone owes quite a lot of taxes, right? Yeah. The $50 a month doesn't help anybody, right? Yeah. Let's say they're owe, they owe $30,000. Oh, that's 50, true, yeah. 50, $50 a month doesn't do. Even if they own $10,000, right? Yeah. $50 a month is never because there is, as I said before, there is state uh, mandated interest and fees that are added That's and that deal. interest rate I mean, and, the, a, and the interest rate can be up to 18%. Wow. So if you're paying that $50, you're just digging yourself deeper and deeper in a hole yes. and our goal is to get you out of that hole, right? And that's why like some of these programs, we want people to apply for some of these programs because it can help them get out of that hole. Yeah. It's the same thing if the credit card, 
He owes ten thousand. Oh yeah. And they're telling him twenty five dollar a month. Yeah. But he doesn't know the interest rate is going twenty six percent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's again. We want to try to encourage financial independence uh, and making sure people are doing what's best for them financially. Yes. Uh, Robert, I want you to give a message to the Middle Eastern community. You know, majority of, of all of you are Middle Eastern, although we have some ethnic minority like the Greek, the Albanian, and all that, because we tackle a lot of important issues related to all of them. Yeah. Okay. What's your message? That we have the, the custom of delaying, of not paying, uh, this, believing in no, no way he'll take my house. <laughs> What's your message to them? Give me two minutes, message. <laughs> the message is, please call us. The message is, as I've said m multiple times already in, in our conversation, yes. Wally, is that we don't know you need help unless you tell us you need help. You have to call us. You have to reach out to us, even if it's online. Schedule an appointment. Schedule a call with us. We have to be able to talk through your situation because there are, there are instances where people don't want their house. Right? They're, mm -hmm. they're where it's gone into disarray, they got it, they're in financial trouble, and we've been told this, that they just want to let it go, yeah. right? And if someone, if we are making every, and I'm telling you, we make every effort to reach out to, you know, the people that are in uh, jeopardy of be, being foreclosed on. Yeah. Like I said, we service their property uh, personally, we send Going to throw tons of mail to yeah. them. Yes. Uh, we are doing everything we can to notify them. And if we never hear from them, then we just have to, uh, you know, at some point we have to assume there's no one there that is trying to hold on to the property, right? And so that's why if, if it is your place and you want to hold on to your property, you need to reach out to us. That would be my, my number one thing is please reach out to us. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the eff all the effort you're doing to reach all the communities, just not the Middle Eastern community. Yeah. And, uh, and you're doing a great job. I appreciate it. Well, that's so why we're here that. today, and we appreciate yes. you giving me this opportunity. Absolutely. And for and these kind of things, helping the community, you are welcome anytime. Thank you very much. So, I look forward to, to coming back and chatting with you on this or any other issue. You got it. Thanks, Thank Wally. you, Robert. You're welcome. Dear reviewer, that was my interview with the uh, Oakland County Treasurer, Robert Wittenberg. Wittenberg, right. yeah. Wittenberg. You got it. You see him appealing to you. If you have a problem with paying the taxes, go to him. He's got so many programs for you. He's got, you know what, and he cannot help you if you, if you don't go to them. If you just sit at home and say that they're not going to take my house and they threw the bills in the garbage and all that, you're going to end up heavy price. And that price, the family, your family will be kicked out of the house. So it's something so important. And especially for the Middle Eastern community, which have we, the family oriented. There's five, six people living in a house and the children and all that. If something happened, and, and, and by state law, they have to do it, and they'll take your house. If that happened, God forbid, you know, your family is going to be with no, you know, miserable situation. So my advice to you, and he appealing to you so many times, my advice to you to call him, to visit the website, to reach to him, and I'm 100% positive they're going to find a way to help you. It's from federal or the state or, or non-profit organization or themselves. They could put you in a payment plan. If you could afford to pay $100, $200, they'll give you that. You know, they like to help you in every way possible. So please, go to them. You know, contact them, reach them, and, and, and let them help you and instead of losing the house, which is most important to you and your family. Thanks for watching and good night.